Come on, go. Bitch. And with that, we say goodbye to the Mr. Garner, a great man with a great legacy. Goodbye, Dad. Thank you. We must get rid of her. The little bastard. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take care of her. And him. Norma? Harry? Oh my god, did we? Okay, guys, next up on the tour of my house is my bedroom. Please, please follow me, dear. <gasps> Norma? Business? You don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. Put that away. <sighs> Miss, are you all right? Are you all right? Ms. Gano. Sir, you can come down now. I can walk on myself. Ms. Gano. Your father declared you as the sole Garner Corp in his will. You will inherit the entire state. So you're a gardener. I thought they only had one daughter. Well, my father, he left me and my mother a really long time ago and he just passed away. I came to attend the funeral, but I didn't expect. Did you know our stock price dropped again today? God damn it. I knew you couldn't take over. Stockholders have no trust in a bachelor. They think all you're thinking about is girls. You've got to settle down, marry a nice girl, start a family. Thanks, Dad. Look at us, both dealing with our father issues. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta get to work, but you're more than welcome to stay as long as you need. So, just call me if you need anything. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Cassie? What's wrong? Norma, are you in New York now? Listen, I need to send you an email. I need you to bring it to Mr. Smith's house and have him sign it. In order to secure his investment, the entire team has been working for several months. So hurry up. Don't mess it up. But, but I'm on vacation. Hello? Hello?
Mr. Smith, can I say that these documents are really urgent and require your signature immediately? Are you okay? Hello, Miss Gardner. Can you hear me? Okay. All right, I think we're done here. That old rapey bastard. No! Alan, get off me! Don't do it, Alan! Stop it, please! I'm begging you! Don't touch me! Don't you wanna play me. games? No, play games. <laughs> Alright, one more? <laughs> okay. What the what? fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god! Alan Smith! Oh. 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 Sorry. Okay, it's okay. I'm okay now. Oh, you eat snow. <laughs> you ain't seen the last of me. <sighs> Cassie, listen, since your people know Chris Hart so well, why don't you get your money from him? Cause I'm out! Oh, it's so hot here. Why are you so harsh on yourself? Thank you for saving me again, Mr. Hurst. You're welcome. Anytime. We should discuss the will. You have no experience in running a company, and the scandal you just sparked has had a significant negative impact on the company. Mom, that's enough. Norma, just sign the contract. If you sign it, you can walk away today with five million dollars. Think about your future. This could change your life, Norma. This could change everything. Just sign it and we could all be done with this today. I wouldn't sign this. Norma, Norma, Norma. I tried to be nice, but you wasted that chance. If you don't sign this, we're gonna come after you with everything that we have. Who do you think that you are?
Who do you think you are? What rights do you have to negotiate with us? You're just a wild child. Do you really know how much shame you have brought to your family? Your father's body is not cold yet. That's enough, both of you. I'm gonna take charge of the company and I'm gonna inherit the estate because that's what father wanted. May he rest in peace. Ms. Garner, I truly apologize for the confusion regarding the will that was left by your father. Actually, he made changes to it a week before his passing and you're no longer listed as an heir. I'm truly sorry, Ms. Garner, but actually he did leave you a house in Long Island. Father wanted to inherit after all. I guess that does make sense. Well, in this case, they can have it all. I never even belong in this family anyway. And it's a chapter of my life right now. But this house still requires a signature, Miss Connor. Norma, you don't need to come here anymore. Did I get that right? Are you firing me? Norma, I thought you were smart. I don't want to tell you, but the most important investment for the next year is from Alan's group. And now it's all gone because of you. Is that enough reason for you? That's just an excuse. I know that you want to fire me. Why would you do such a thing to me? Ugh, what a dump. So dusty in here. I think I'm allergic. Achoo. <laughs> Good thing we're getting somebody to come and clean up the trash. What do you want me to do with Nina? I haven't figured it out yet. The news about you and that woman is spreading like wildfire. The investors have been calling me. What are you going to do? I'll take care of it. Hey, Norma, are you home? Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Wait for me outside. Chris Hust, it's been a long time. Lola Walton. Lola Walton. I thought you were supposed to be in the UK. When did you come back? <laughs> I heard that Cole is looking for a fiance for you. So, if I didn't back, would you have gotten married without telling me? Just kidding. I mean the days when we use sun bus uh, on a beach like kids so I come back and now I am a partner of Hearst Group. So Chris, aren't you happy I am back? Of course I'm happy. Welcome back. Anyways, I heard the rumors about you but that can be true, right? The heir of Hearst Group involved with a illegitimated daughter who's lost all her inheritance. You know, Lola, I never pegged you as someone to judge someone solely on their last name or how much money they have in their bank account. I mean, that wasn't you before. That was everyone else. But I mean, if that's, if that's who you are now, then I guess, I don't know, I, I don't think I have much left to say to you, so. I should just get going here. <laughs> no, I'm still Lola, you remember. I just meant Cole probably won't accept her. That's all. I'm on your side, <laughs> no matter what. Let's go to see Cole. He is waiting for you.
Why are you tipping me? Kind of. Oh my god, Ronnie. New VVs on my wrist, new watch, bitch, I'm iced down. Ho screaming when I walk in, tell them hoes pipe down. Ayy, shoot thoughts, get sloppy, out them press they bite down. Five, four, three, two, one, two. How much? 55. Do your job. Calm down. Let me go. Let me down. Put me down. Put me down. My friends are gonna notice I'm missing. Put me down, this guy. Blue VVs on my wrist and watch. Oh my God. Post your move and I'll walk in seven hotels. Smith? Norma Gardner. The last time I saw you, still a Gardner girl. How did you end up here? You know, I heard all about you. You got this inherited, and your stepsister kicked it to the curb. Don't touch Come me! Come on, Norma, you're already here. Just drop the act, make me happy, and I promise I'll be more. Generous than Chris. I said, get your hands off me! Fucking <laughs> bitch! Who do you think you are? Chris doesn't give a shit about you. And then one woman like you should know her place. And today, I'm gonna make you win. <laughs> Dylan? Are you fucking crazy? I'm your brother. If you really consider me your brother, Stay away from here! Whatever! Yeah, get the fuck of my place! <laughs> you do remember when I took you in for that shit on that thing, Without me, you'll be sleeping under a bridge. Now what? You're gonna ruin my company? With that whore? She's not a, not a whore! She slept with her fucking brother-in-law! <laughs> Uncle Carl, don't lose your temper over this. Chris never said in public he's gonna marry Norma, right? If, I, if he knew the difference between trash in class, I wouldn't get involved. But it's just as foolish as my sister. My sister. My father adored her so much that he wanted to give the entire family fortune to her. But she loved some bastard. That didn't work out. You know why? I have to keep it from Cal before I can confirm Norma's mother's identity. I'm worried you might go after Norma for the inheritance. I understand. I will marry Lola so I can make you happy and take over the company. Norma, what are you going to do? I need time. Just give me time. You probably don't even remember me. But I never forgot you. I never did. Norma, where are you? Find your hands. Let go of her! What the fuck? Okay. I'm uh, sorry for the misunderstanding. Uh, please contact my assistant for proper compensation.
Mr. Vice President. Very impressive. Listen, I don't need your money. Actually, after what my brother did, consider us even. Oh, hey, I think it's time for you to go. Me? I can do as I please. You're not even her boyfriend, are you? It's okay. Why don't you get the hell out of here before I do something money can't fix? Fine, tough guy. I'm gonna step back this time. But when you are here, I'll make sure you never see her again. You know what I think is good for that? Mm. A bath. A bath sounds good. Yeah. I'll be right back. Strip club? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Whoa, hey, we'll let her go! What do you want, man? Just name the price. I'll give you whatever you want. Just, hey, man. Don't come any closer. Chris, don't worry about me. Just save yourself. Hey, man, let her go. What do you want? Just name the price, man. I'll give you whatever you want. Just calm down, okay? You don't, you don't need to do this. I want your girl gone! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You know? I'm so sorry. apologize for what my brother did yesterday but don't worry I won't let that ever happen again it's okay you didn't have to come all the way to say that it's fine by the way have you heard the name of Lola Walton I believe she's the one behind all that happened to you yesterday night Walton I I don't even know anyone named Lola Walton why would she want to do something like that to me <sighs> Norma 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 you're so kind, so innocent, so pure. It's like in your eyes, the whole world is perfect. Nobody will ever harm you. But let me tell you something. There's some bad people out there with plenty of reason to harm someone like you. Did you know that Chris and Lola know each other from childhood? She sees you as a threat because she's involved with him. So you better tell Chris about it. You're, you're right. I'm gonna call him right now. You better do. cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. I know what we had before was great. I mean, we had so many good times. Remember that? I do. But that was in the past. I've moved on. There's someone else that I love. That straightforward rejection. 
Thank you, Chris. You always know what you want and that's what's so attractive about you. Even though I know in the end you're gonna hurt me. Ah, this is urgent. I gotta take this. Norma, miss me already? Chris, I know who kidnapped me. Who? I'll make them pay. It was actually your friend, Lola Walton. No, she, Norma's my good friend. She just came back to help me. I'm sure this is a misunderstanding, but don't worry. I'll get to know who's behind this. But hey, I gotta get to a meeting, so I'll call you later. All right. Find me Norma Karnes phone number. Find me her address. Find me everything about her. 